lots of rumors circulating about potential breakups. This is the last album. one. This is the last album. This is the last album, bro. So, why? And wear your fucking mask, people. Wash your hands. Hey, we here with Hip Hop DX. What's poppin'? We at Hip Hop DX. And it's the Thought Box. <laughs> Michael, Magic. Being the only member from Chicago yeah. in the group of LA uh, rappers, what's the biggest difference uh, from your lifestyle growing up versus theirs? Uh, they like fucking the Lakers, I like the Bulls. <laughs> just <laughs> straight like that. Huh? Niggas just fuck with the Bulls. It's just like this, for real, for real. But the Bulls are better though. Shout out Michael Jordan. What, what are your first earliest memories of growing up in Chicago? I got bit by a dog when I was fucking two years old, and that's why I was, I was just scared of dogs ever since. And that was, uh, that was when I was, uh, when Space Jam came out. I don't know, I can just remember that. I was like two years old or something, two, three years old. So I don't know why it. I always remember that shit. I just remember getting bit by a dog when Space Jam just came out, <laughs> just watching that shit. I was in Chicago on the South Side. I fucking, uh, it was my aunt's dog, and it was my first time seeing the dog, and I was scared of it. And you know they say when, like, when you're scared of the dog, they know that shit. I don't know, that nigga just ran up on me and bit me in my ass, and I was crying. I was little as hell. And they bit me on my ass, like I had a fucking big ass bite on my ass. This shit hurt. So like, you're, you, you're still scared of dogs to this day? No, nah, not anymore. Not like I used to be, but I uh, still don't really, you know, I don't really trust too many dogs. Yeah. What about growing up in South Central? What, what are your earliest memories from childhood? Me and my neighbor breaking into our neighbor's shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, that shit used to be fun. And I, we, we used to steal the most like miscellaneous shit, like spray cans and fucking. <laughs> like, Coming back with a bunch have, of shit. Have blunts and shit. Like, it was like hella miscellaneous. Niggas ain't never took Things nothing that was like shit. worth stealing. And they come back with a whole bunch of shit. Bro, I swear them hoes had shit all through that motherfucker. I hope they do not know who I am right now because they'll show us this shit. Like, oh, this I nigga. knew that little bastard was that seeing nigga. this shit. That nigga. <laughs> How old are you? Like seven. I just used to like doing hella random shit, bro. Like I'll have something, I'd be like, I want it to be this color. I know my parents is not finna help me do this shit. Mm. I'ma find it, I'ma find it. Go to my friend Tito's house, shit. like, hey Tito, <laughs> you got some paint? He'd be like, nah, but ooh, ooh, got some paint next door. <laughs> I'd be like, all right, they there? Like, nope, go. But you know what we about to do. <laughs> Speaking of basketball though, you got you got kicked off your high school team, right? I didn't get kicked off. This, this is a myth? Yeah, yeah, that's a myth. Okay. I, I've been seeing that shit on the internet a couple times. They keep saying I got kicked off. I ain't get kicked off. He was garbage. Nah, <laughs> I started getting garbage because I started smoking weed, I swear to God. But nah, weed don't stop me from playing basketball, everybody. But I started smoking weed. Yeah, yeah, I stopped, yeah, I, uh, I quit the team. <laughs> yeah, my grades wasn't shit, so I couldn't really, yeah. It was already, I was gonna be on probation anyway, so it was like, uh, no point in doing that shit. Okay, I wasn't even gonna have time to play. Before the weed, were you buying out though? Yeah, I was all right. Okay. I was decent, yeah, okay. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's an ankle monitor. Is that, oh uh, no. Is that what I was gonna say? Is that somebody Speaking who, ankle who monitor, we know? Huh? Oh, is that somebody we know? Nah. Uh, yeah, the homie just got off this. <laughs> Fuck this. I don't even want to talk about that. Fuck that shit. Stupid ass well, shit. Fuck the police. It, but it did kind of help you start your music career, right? Yeah, I was fucking... Well, no. I'm gonna tell you, no, for real, bro. That shit just, like, sat me down. <laughs> like, I was already fucking making beats, for real. Like, I just ain't never sat down to fucking record. And that forced you to do so. I mean, I'm fucking bored as fuck. I was bored as fuck, bored as fuck. And I was scared to do anything for real. I used to be scared to bring the homies in the house. <clears throat> like, fuck, bro, my dad gonna come. Or somebody gonna call us something. Man, fuck, I don't even wanna think about that shit. You just threw me in a spiral. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, before we get out of the spiral, since we're already here, what was the first song that you recorded during that time that you were like, okay, this is actually really good? All right, the first song I ever recorded is called Three Ninjas. It's on his mixtape on that piff called Flocking Season. That's the first song I ever recorded. It was over a Southside beat. I found that shit on the 808 Mafia beat tape. Hmm. Second song I recorded, Factuals. It's LA Flockers on the same tape on a whole different beat. I don't know who made that shit, but it's the same hook though. That's where I got it from. That was like one of the first shits I ever wrote. Who'd you show it to when you first? Should I just put it on the internet? That's right. I didn't know who to show it to, so I just put it on that piff, like, fuck it. Ah!
bro, I do that shit. <laughs> you know, that's my nigga, though. Look at bro. Shout out, bro, bro, hey, on me. See, look. My brother. Bro, like, mm-hmm. bro, really, like, stepped up. Oh, God. Like, right. That shit Stop. crazy. Like, oh, I like G, sure. bro. Bro, be going ham. Oh, God. Oh, me. That's well, my nigga. Love to see it. What sure. was the first conversation you guys had after, after like, you started, you know, using these beats and stuff? What was the first combo where you guys decided to, like, really consistently work together? I don't know, it's just, like, when it comes to music and shit, it's just like, if you fuck with a nigga, you fuck with a nigga. If you ain't gonna fuck with a nigga, you ain't gonna fuck with him. That's really how that worked. It wasn't really no conversation, like, oh, bro, we yeah, same in, shit. this and this. Yeah. We, was, we just did our shit. Thought box. So. <laughs> Yeah. Niggas be talking about juice. Don't want no juice. Mm-hmm. Like, we got <laughs> the juice. <laughs> oh, oh it's just the blue? Yeah. yeah that's funny. Oh. That's cold. Oh, me. <laughs> me and Phoenix, uh. That was Phoenix, a good time in life right recorded, there. We recorded this whole tape in like two days, life bro. Simple. And. <laughs> life was good around that time. Just sim- it was simple. <laughs> it was, you know bro, what I'm saying? That shit was funny. That nigga Phoenix was mad at though Jeezy because he changed his, uh, the SoundCloud password. He said, fuck that, bro. We finna drop a whole tape on that motherfucker. <laughs> 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 oh, me. <laughs> what was the first uh, combo you had with Phoenix? I think I hit bro up on, on Instagram just on some random shit because I heard his music. And bro ended up being literally right down the street from me. I'm like, nigga, shit, link up, nigga. And we linked and Like, we just literally kicked it every day after that. Bro, it was cool as fuck, bro. Like, posted on the block with me and all type of shit. He was a solid ass nigga. And you just made that in two days? Yeah, we, that was, yeah. I mean, we just like, me and that nigga made music fast as fuck. <laughs> and this is another thing I've been seeing on the internet. Everybody saying it's my favorite rapper and shit. I do fuck with Organized Confusion, don't get me wrong with that. They're not my favorite rappers, though. But Feral Monk, he hard, though. He hard as hell. What, what, what was your favorite, uh, Favorite bar, favorite song. This nigga got a song called Bring It On. It's an old ass organized confusion song. Nigga rapping fast as hell. And that nigga like, <laughs> like <laughs> Bro, is that saying some shit though? Like, I don't know. Nigga gotta listen to that shit. Bring it on. Organized confusion shit. Old as fuck. Okay, clear it up then. Who is your favorite rapper growing up? <laughs> Probably Lil Wayne, but at a, at a point in time, Wiz Khalifa was my favorite rapper. Like. I don't know, I just fuck with it. He the one who made me want to do music or yeah. even be in that shit. Yeah, like, just cause the niggas, I don't know, he was just fly, fly nigga. Just had a Taylor gang, had a big gang, everybody fucking with me. I don't know, I just like that shit. That's what made me want to do music for real. And then you got to be a part of your own crew? The type shit. Yeah. It just happened like that. Bitch, I'm Rob Vicious. <laughs> 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 I read, I was reading the old interview, you said you uh, weren't allowed to get the explicit version of CDs when you were growing up. That's crazy, like, I was just, for some random reason, I was just thinking about the first album I bought before I put that. That's what I was going to ask. What was, what was but that? that's, uh, uh, fucking, it was the pack, Bass Boys. That was the first, that shit was hard as fuck to me. I swear to God. Like, that's what made me want to make music. I ain't going to lie to you. After that, that's when I started making beats. Really? Yeah. Do you instantly like go and find a program and download it and you're like, alright? Hell yeah. I ran through like five, six programs and then I found Fruity Loops and it was like, there you go. That's crazy. And now, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's cool to see the evolution of like the, the moment. Because like, there's always those random moments that like spark to where you're at and then you look back and you're, you don't even realize how important it was until you like. You no, know, me. I ain't gonna lie, I be thinking about that shit all the time. Like, damn. I would have never, if I would have never just had walked down the CD out that day and was just like, hey, give me this, it looked cool. You were just like looking at the cover and it looked cool? Uh-huh. It was like, it was like, uh, it was a drawing, like it was a cartoon to them. That shit was hard as fuck. That shit hard. Like, everybody know this song. I'm stunning in my car, my car. Yeah, like that was my shit. That, I ain't got my bands on, but they look like sneakers. That's my shit, like, on me. That was my shit. <laughs> That's great, you gotta get a... A sample it. Just, you gotta sample that. That shit probably never clear. <laughs> <laughs> First one, Shoreline do that shit. I just fucking, I be forgetting this shit's a script. Like a doctor script. So, uh, what, the first, the first fucking album? Yeah. Uh, 
How long did it take you guys? Because I've read different things about how long it took, but like from the starting idea to it coming out, how many weeks or days do you think it took for you guys? See, he, he don't smoke weed, he'll know. Right. <laughs> it was literally about, I think about four to five sessions of the month. So wow. it was, so it, was a, it was a month. Yeah. It was a Actually, month because we used to go like every Sunday type every shit. Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas didn't know what was gonna happen. We just thought we were just doing a tape, and it just so happened that shit blew the fuck up. Sold out the first show. The first show was so amazing to me because I remember I was on the side of Rob. Rob had a shirt on. Rob was like, "Why are you looking at me? Like, What's wrong, bro?" He's like, "My stomach hurts, bro." I'm like, "Bro, what do you mean?" Uh. Just, ah, just, just uh. throw the. <laughs> hey, look, look, wait. But you, I'm a gangster though, right? You are. I turned around, I was like, he was like, you good? I said, nothing happened, don't tell nobody. <laughs> <laughs> and then on everything, and then my song turned on right after, I swear to God. Uh, you didn't really expect it. It was one of those moments where you're just in the studio and making stuff. People are coming in. You have this vibe. You're flowing. But like, did you have any expectation that it was going to do anything close to what it did? Yeah. Honestly, I was about to say, I wanted the line say nothing, but yeah, right, yeah. right. Yeah. You mean like you kind of knew exactly what was gonna happen? Not I mean, even sound like cocky about it. Right, not even yeah, no, no cocky shit. Just like shit was literally something got happen. planned <laughs> out. Like, yeah. what was the moment that you knew you had something special? Because his moment was at the show. Like, did you guys know in the studio? Mm, the shows. Yeah, for sure, the shows. I seen the motherfucking people. Uh, I'm like, so, yo, it's like watching shit. motherfuckers <laughs> chant that shit. You're like, whoa. Hmm. What was this, like Rolling Loud? Yeah. I was mad as fuck. I ain't gonna lie, that was a fucking hectic, hectic wow. day. What, what was that? <laughs> it was just a lot of shit going on. Hey, nah, I'm gonna just keep it a stack. I couldn't get none of my homies in. That exactly. Shit was, that shit was weird. My girl that shit was outside, weird. my homies, dude, three of my homies outside. Niggas was bringing in like miscellaneous ass rappers and shit <laughs> that shit had their own passes, but niggas can't bring their homies. I, didn't, I wasn't feeling that shit. Especially I ain't gonna lie. I yeah, it was crazy. But in terms of the it was decent though. When you're walking out, can't see. You, oh, you can't even see the crowd. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. You like, see, every time I perform, I'd be like that. I can't <laughs> see. This motherfucking hit when we're rolling out. That one, that, that was. It was so many fucking people, bro. That shit. Was, like you could, all you can see is fucking heads. Like you can't even see them, but like you just see motherfucking people all the way to the back. Like shit was crazy, bro. I ain't never seen some shit like What's that. What's your guys' favorite performance then that you've ever done? I ain't gonna lie, I had some fun ass shows. I was with about this to nigga. say, I have had my most fun shows with you. <laughs> yeah, this nigga, so nigga has some fun ass shows, bro. Mafia Twins shit. Cracking. <laughs> that shit funny. <laughs> First Mafia Twins too was fun as hell. Even the second one, we went on to 25, uh, was it 25, 19? That shit was lit. I couldn't really, like, just be. Like, pick one of them? I can't I, pick one. I couldn't. Ooh. That's how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Roof Chris, uh, remember good things to say about Roof Chris. I think we ate there like right after we got signed. I like to, like literally right after we got signed. Yeah, the, uh, when we had um, GZ and Phoenix and uh, they were saying the first night you guys got signed. That was my first time ever eating there. That shit was good as fuck. That's what made me like steaks for real. I didn't even like, I, I never had like a good real steak like since then. Like, what do you guys remember about that day though? Um, just signing the deal? I did acid for the first time. You did acid that day? Acid the that day? The same day? Huh? Oh, you crazy. The same day? That, that, that night. So boom. We around some bitches, right? <laughs> Any story that's just <laughs> like some bitches, bro. My ass horny as a motherfucker off that acid. <laughs> So, <laughs> somehow, bro, I just catch myself fucking this bitch, right? But my fuck, and then I go mind my business, bro. Boom, and like that feeling came back. Like, so, boom, I start fucking again, bro. I don't know why, bro. It felt like Jesus just grabbed me from out the room and was just like. And then when I came out the room, this nigga hoe grabbed my back and was like, you're wasting your high. <laughs> I'm like, what the what fuck? The <laughs> I'm what like, the what fuck? the fuck? So then, oh, bro. Was the, hey, was the, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. then, look. So he like, bro, check <laughs> this out. Bro, take me in the, uh, in the awful room, right? Oh, and yeah, started, I remember like, this, This night. nigga turned on Pink Floyd, bro. And the screen was like steel, bro. It was a steel screen in like outer space, my nigga. <laughs> That's how I knew I was tripping. Bro, so watching this shit and like as the song progresses and shit, bro, like the star just blows up, bro. Like, boom. He's like, and once start floating off, he like, you see that? That's you. 
I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, the nigga hold me on. That shit was crazy as fuck, bro. <laughs> I felt I felt good as fuck that morning. Like, damn, I don't know what just happened. Oh god. That's you. <laughs> So it's okay. Walk me through a bit more about what you're feeling on the acid because I I've, I've only done mushrooms. I'm planning on doing DMT, but acid I've stayed away from. But what, yeah, acid what, is like, beautiful. What's going acid is beautiful, bro. My mm-hmm. nigga, it's like just I ain't gonna lit. lie, bro. That's some shit that just had you just happy for nothing. Like you're mm-hmm. just happy as fuck for nothing, like. Bro, that's how, you know what's funny, P? That's how I came up with the, I think, the fans listening shit. Damn. Me and Foster did acid. Only did, only did acid two times. And that was the, the second time I did acid with Foster, bro. We was in the valley with all the homies, right? First off, trip out. We <laughs> drove there, bro. I drove there 120. <laughs> on acid, bro. <laughs> we Pushing get there. Over. We go to, uh, we go by you. Huh? Hell yeah, bro. I drive, I, bro, I drive on anything. I, I got it. It's, I'm going to just do it a little better. <laughs> Fucking, we put up on you. I don't remember what for, but I put up on you. Boom. In the valley? We, yeah, bro. We left, right? My nigga, me and Foster was like, bro, we need to take a walk, fool. <laughs> <laughs> bro, when we woke away, it just laughed, laugh, laugh. Like, nigga, we was dying, fool. It's like, damn, it's, it's not nothing funny. So then... <laughs> We stop and sit down, and this fat ass nigga go, woo! <laughs> and I just, like, I, just, I couldn't let that shit go. That was busting on and, that shit. And then I'm like, hey, Foster, I think the fans listen. <laughs> it, it pulled, I feel like Psycho does pull creativity out of you that you just didn't know was there a lot of the times. Yeah. Shit, I, I ain't never recorded on that shit, honestly. I just like enjoy myself. Yeah. Fuck that, nigga be the studio on acid, I'm be. Alright. <laughs> Alright, next. And all them songs would be like, just like hella, hella extra out deep and shit. You're like, whoa. <laughs> Alright, nigga talking about that shit. <laughs> you straight kill <laughs> Tell that nigga Kato come get his chain back. Fuck, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> hey, these niggas changed their logo because of me. I mean, I don't know. They probably changed it because it's a new century, whatever the fuck. It's a new generation and shit. But yeah, they used to have a logo with the little, you know, the little dashes in it. And then I got the chain. And then they started seeing nigga on Twitter and shit. And they was like, all right, baby, we're going to change our logo. So they changed it to this shit. Honestly, I don't even know, bro. Uh, I just. My name was just Master Kato and then it was Master Card. I'm like, oh yeah. They you know know what what my mom used to give me gift card. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not kind of a turn Master Card. You know? you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> cool. So I just put it together, you know what I'm saying? What's and the most expensive yeah. purchase you guys have made uh, since you got on? In New York. And we spent like 10. Fuck, what was we at? But uh, niggas was bro. It was in sacks. Bro. I mean, you man. both spent 10. Bro, me and this nigga, we was, we was, we was having like shopping wars or something, bro. This nigga, <laughs> <laughs> yo. I ain't gonna lie, bro. We, we, we was having yeah, shopping wars. Hard. This nigga Rob would come to the fucking register with all his shit. I'd come and register and my come shit. And he would come back with some more shit. Like, all right, I'm gonna go get some more shit too. Right, niggas be like, hold on, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go look at this for it. I'm like, I'm gonna go get some shoes. Niggas coming back, bro. It was yeah. bad, bro. Yeah, me then and Phoenix nigga, ass tried to come in. Me and this nigga <laughs> shopping shit. together is like a, it's like it's a bad, war. Bro. Like, it's bad. It's not even intentional. That shit just be happening, like, back to back. Yeah, like, oh, you got that? I no, got I this. I'm like, you got those. that? I got this. Yeah, right, I got seven of those. I'm like, damn, this nigga, bro. But what? This nigga from so many shoes, bro. I swear, what? This nigga is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, don't go bro. in no shoe store with me thinking <laughs> you about to go hard on me. Bro. I get the whole shoe store, bitch. What are you talking about? And not bro. even wear all these shits. Cookies. The weed cookies. I heard, right. I heard where, where, what's uh, the status of Golden Valley Edibles right now? Whoa. <laughs> what you know about Golden Valley Edibles, bro? That's crazy. He's like, yeah, bro, we actually got sued, so the company's <laughs> terminated. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey. Oh, God. Hey, nah. Golden Valley, Golden Valley. That's in the past. Uh, okay. now, now it's 4K Exotics. 4K um, Exotics? Yeah, 4K okay. Exotics. New strain coming actually in the, like, like three weeks for real. For real. Oh, my favorite. Bitcoin. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin is a good investment, y'all. Bitcoin bandy, bro. I steal your Bitcoin. Did you invest in Bitcoin early, though? Nah, Loki. I had Bitcoin when it was $600. Yeah, fuck you. I had $600. I had Bitcoin when it was $600. And then, yeah, I was using I was using Bitcoin for other reasons, though. But 
yeah, I had like three, four Bitcoins when it was 600. And then, yeah, I ended up using the Bitcoins. And now it's like each Bitcoin, like 9,000. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I, know. <laughs> I ain't know though. At the time, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't even thinking about that shit. shit. Then, like, they used to get them shits for free, bro, but like a long like, time ago, bro. Just sell it, like, yeah, just sell that shit. That shit was, shit. and now it's nine bands for one. Shout out Bitcoin. Yo, where is what, this? What's this all about? Oh, that's a, uh, Oh, that's Picasso. I don't think I was there, my G. No. What was that? The sauce on one? I'm finna have a daughter. All this pink shit just made me think about that. Yeah, I mean, are you really? really excited? Nervous? Real? Nervous. For real? Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. I don't know he's going. That's crazy. I said, bro, hell yeah, nigga. What the fuck? Yeah, I ain't telling nobody. Wow. That's crazy. Live. <laughs> when, what's going, when did he find out? It's lit. Yeah, like a few days ago. What was going through your head? I was having a fucked up day. And so. <sighs> it's lit. Just a sigh. But I mean, shit, I don't know. It's not nothing bad. Like, that's what's up. But I was having a bad day, though. You'll be good there. Oh, for sure, for sure. sure. You, you can get some advice from the other, uh, other members. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> I'm be good. I didn't take care of uh, niggas my age and older. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, ask you first. Hey, P Dog, man. Long live. P Dog, Jesse Will Family. All right, you know, man. RP, my nigga. Nothing but good things to say about my nigga. Do you have a favorite memory? Fuck you guys. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. My favorite memory, one of my favorite memories with this nigga was that uh, this nigga's pop up, the Trap Atlantic pop up at No Jumper. And bro was drunk as hell. I was about to say, I, I, bro, <laughs> was bro, I like drunk how as drunk, as drunk as everybody was that bro, day. Bro, that, that shit was, was crazy. Dumb, that was, yeah, that nigga. was a super fun day, That was bro, dumb, bro. Bro. My nigga, Mac P was drunk as hell, bro. The nigga kept fucking up running on the backwood. Like, nigga. bitch. <laughs> that nigga, nigga running, bro. that's my nigga. That's that not, nigga, he the type of nigga, like, when he, like, faded, it'd be like, fuck everybody. He don't everybody. Give fuck. He'd be like, fuck At everybody, all. bitch. Right. That shit crazy like, as hell, Bitch. Like, oh, this nigga tripping. Like, oh, God, me. Man, I feel my nigga, man, for real. Long live. Yeah, that's the piece. Yes, sir. July 31st. Do you guys have uh, <laughs> one song on there that um, you're most proud of? It's with this nigga and uh, OGZ and Future. With that, yeah, that, wow. that nigga. Proud of this motherfucker right here. How'd hey. you link up with Future? What was the story about that? I didn't. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Shit. That's the story behind that. I can't fake no fuck. I don't know that man. I know there were like a bunch of rumors circulating about potential breakups. This the last album. one. This the last album. This the last album, bro. So why? Mm. Niggas, niggas was, like actually right. just got like, to like, see like what the fuck you get out of this shit and uh and everybody just want different shit. And yeah, we getting yeah, older, everybody yeah. got on. We yeah, like, everybody their own person. Everybody yeah, everybody their own think own we situation. like. Some nigga asked me on Xbox today, like, hey, they're like, y'all don't be kicking every Like, niggas think we with each other like every single day. Like, like that's like, like I'm, I'm telling you, that's what like I be telling people. That's what yeah. was misconceived from Jump Street. Niggas was not like, not like that, but niggas wasn't fucking with each other like that. Mm, yeah, I love like, it was only other. on some music shit. Yeah. Like, Cause you, you all had different connections to each other, different levels of connections, but it wasn't like you all together were like best friends. Right, right. right. And shit, is, you know what I'm saying? It's a group of four niggas. Niggas get older and shit yeah. happen. So are you guys That's all it. planning on, on continuing to make music just? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, sir, of course. <laughs> of course, sir, why not? And, yeah. and, and then, I mean, I guess we can still see, even if there's not a group project, will we still see you guys on each other's songs? Hell, hell yeah. yeah okay. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, it ain't like niggas is beefing or nothing. Yeah. Ain't no weird shit happen. It just, like I said, niggas just really like, Got to see like just a little bit of what we can get out of this, and everybody wants something different. Yeah. What do you guys want out of uh, out of your careers and out of out of music? Uh, I just want a, career, a good career and my people to be good, straight like that, and be able to put niggas on. That's it. That's all I want. Start business. Act. Hey. Hmm. What, what you need to do? Your ads, bro. Is look out for your goddamn self. <laughs> 
right? Because if don't nobody yeah, got stop you, worry about us, you dude. got you. So stop don't worry about, about us, what bro. the fuck I got going on in the background, but. And wear your fucking mask, people. Wash your hands. Yeah, all that shit. You should have been doing that, that before Corona. That puts the hand sanitizer. <laughs>